I studied neuroscience wow. to discover the first thing you must do in any business innovation project. Stick around to learn this vital principle plus seven actions you can take right now to kickstart your innovation. Have you ever been on a first date and had the thought, I know how this is going to end? You're sitting there and across the table is a beautiful girl and she has this beautiful cute smile and you think, wow, she's just like <laughs> She's cute at first, but then she wants to spend all that time with you. Then she wants to move in with you. Then she wants to get married. Then she wants to have children with you and live the rest of your life with you. She wants everything. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. I know how this is going to end and I'm going to do something about that right now. I'm going to leave before it even gets started. <laughs> the first step you must take in any business innovation is like going on a first date. It's risky because you don't know what's going to happen. And you need to be careful that you don't have a premature evacuation so you don't leave too soon. Gregory Burns is a neuroscientist. He studies the brain. And he wrote a great book about the neuroscience of innovation. An iconoclast, an iconoclast, <laughs> an iconoclast is literally a destroyer of icons. Traditionally, this meant religious icons. But that's also what an innovator does. And that's the way that Burns defines an iconoclast. He sees them as elite innovators. Someone who takes on a project or a challenge that hasn't been done before. Which raises a great question. How do you become a great innovator? Given he's a neuroscientist, you can probably guess what Burns' answer is. To be a great innovator, you have to think like one. But how do you do this? How do you come up with a great idea instead of the same old dribble that you usually come up with? The first step in any business innovation is to see the world differently. But how do you do that? In our previous video on business innovation, we talked about your lazy brain. It's okay, my brain's lazy too. One way that your brain is lazy is that you take shortcuts to save on thinking time and energy. For instance, your brain predicts what is going to happen based on what has happened before. Trumpet still keeps his feet and kicks a goal. It's like watching a replay of yesterday's football game. The same team wins by the same margin in the same way. Collingwood win the grand final! If this is all that you do, then you won't come up with any interesting answers to your innovation problems. How do you change this? How do you do things differently? There are two things you can do. The ideal is to see things as if You've never seen them before. But how do you do that? The key is to know that your brain puts things in boxes or categories. For instance, the first time I saw an electric car, I thought, that's a bit strange. That car doesn't have space in the grill on the front to allow air to flow into the radiator so it can cool the engine. But when I found out electric cars don't need radiators to cool their engines, then I had a new box or a new category for cars. Now I can spot electric cars really quickly and easily just by looking at the grill. By thinking in terms of brain boxes or categories, there are two things you can do to come up with new ideas. The first thing you can do is have new experiences. This forces your brain to come up with new categories to put that experience in. The second is to consider that your current boxes, your current categories, are only one way to look at that situation. For instance, on your first date, it helps to remind yourself that this is not and it's a completely different person. Here are seven, seven different ways to help you see things differently and come up with fresh ideas. Number one is to present your idea in a new way. 
Instead of writing about your idea, make a design for it, make a mind map for it, make a graph to describe its qualities. This will force you to think about it in a different way. And if you want to be an innovator, you need to have design thinking in your toolkit. Number two, change environments. Go on a holiday, meet in a different room, or walk to work in a different route. Number three, add more detail. One of the great killers of ideas is that we say things like, oh, that's just like that, and we compare one thing to another. This is because our categories are too broad. They're broad strokes that are trying to describe something in a single word or a single box. But when you add more details, you see more variation and more differences. So look more closely. Number four, meet new people. Given we all see the world a little differently, it makes sense that if we hang out with new and different people, we'll get new and different views of the world. But this only works if you're willing to consider what they have to say. For business innovation, the obvious thing is to go and sit down with your clients and customers and find out what their world looks like. Number five, use analogies. This video is like a cup of coffee. It's giving you energy and ideas. When you use analogies, you instantly create connections between things and new ways of looking at them. Number six, do things differently. To change your perception of the task you're working on, change how you do it. Use chopsticks instead of a knife and fork. Have a stand-up meeting instead of the usual sit-down meeting. And number seven, collect new experiences. Deliberately do things differently. Go to different places, change your schedule, read a book, go to the opera. Disrupt your routine. Become someone who collects new experiences as fuel for your next innovation. What's your best way of coming up with new ideas? Add a comment down below and let me know. My challenge for you today is to begin being an innovator by doing something differently, doing something new. This could be as simple as trying an espresso instead of your usual latte. Or it might be to have lunch with someone new or just go for a walk down that alley you've never been down before. Pick something easy and remember to celebrate your success. This is the second in our four part series on business innovation. And you'll find more great videos in this business innovation playlist. You might wanna watch one of these videos next.